What's going on everyone, it's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass and today we'll be looking at basic Shopify apps that will help you get your store set up. These are all going to have free plans too, so it's going to be really easy to start with. And these are going to be covering essential categories such as reviews, pop-ups, abandoned carts, email marketing, as well as getting your store featured on different social media channels such as Facebook, Pinterest, and Google Shopping. So we have quite a few apps here, we're going to go over each of these apps, the benefits, some of the UI and the pricing as well as the reviews for them as well. So make sure you stay to the end of the video here so we can get your store set up the basic Shopify apps you're going to need for just about every store. Before I dive into it, I just want to thank our sponsor ProfitCalc, the one-click profit calculator app available on the Shopify app store. It comes with a 15-day free trial and there's a link in the description below to access that and it's going to allow you to skip your spreadsheets and get back to growing your store in real time. I'm going to show a quick video now detailing their full feature set. Are you a Shopify business owner who spends hours doing your accounting? Have messy spreadsheets kept you from growing your business? Discover ProfitCalc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit, displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify app store today. So let's dive into our first basic app today. This one's going to be super easy and it's just the Facebook channel. It's going to allow you to link your Shopify store to Facebook really easily. It's like for doing some targeting here. And as you can see, it's not a super complicated app. You're basically going to hook it up. It allows you to link everything to Facebook and Instagram, as well as your different accounts and managers and pages. It is a free to install app and it can make the process a little easier. And so it's very similar with our next app here and that's going to be the Pinterest app. So you can get your products in front of shoppers on Pinterest. Depending on your niche, Pinterest may be a really good platform to advertise your product. So it makes it easy to connect your account and increase your organic reach on Pinterest by linking all your products here so they are searchable. You can also create different ads in Pinterest directly from this app as well, although you probably will get more control by using the Pinterest ads manager. As you can see, 400 million people use Pinterest, so that's a lot of people here. It's free to install and set up. It's got good reviews here at 4.8 stars with over 4,300 five-star reviews. Next, let's take a look at Shopify email. This is going to be Shopify's very own email automation product. It allows you to create different email templates with a drag and drop editor. You can see statistics on how well your emails are doing in terms of open rate and click-throughs. You can try different categories here for automation, such as new subscribers, customer win back, customer email automation, creating different flows. You also get purchase upsells, as well as links to other automation apps here. As you can see for their flow template here, you can see it's gonna start when a customer subscribes, and it's gonna check if the customer did not subscribe at checkout, then it's going to send them a marketing email so you can create those more customizable flows there. This app is a great starter app here because it is free to install for the first 10,000 emails a month. Then you're going to pay a dollar for every thousand emails additionally. So that's quite cheap compared to other plans. I don't believe it has as many features as some of the more advanced email automation app. But again, this is free. So when you're starting out, this is a great basic app to have. It has decent reviews at 4.1 stars and over 600 five-star reviews. Next, let's take a look at a Google Shopping feed. Google Shopping is a great marketing platform, especially if your products are more search intent. The ads are really easy to set up as well, as you're essentially going to set up the basic description and the basic titles, upload all your products. And you don't have to create custom ads for each product, whereas you have to do that for Facebook. For any video ad here, we can create video creative. These are all going to be search intent. And so using this app here makes it really easy to link your products with Google Merchant Center. It's going to automatically sync in new products. It's going to create smart shopping and PM Max campaigns if you're looking to do that. And you can produce really high quality feeds in a short amount of time as there's typically a lot of detailed fields you have to fill out. It makes it easy to filter your app, assign different genders and age groups to help Google Shopping categorize your product. You can label them with different labels and promotions for further categorization you can create performance max campaigns directly within the app here in terms of pricing there's a 21 day free trial it is paid but it's up to 500 products that's only 4.99 a month and you get feeds for facebook and microsoft ads as well it starts to go up in price based on the number of products you have and overall this is one of those things that can take a long time to set up manually so it's probably just worth it here as you get real-time syncing with any new products that are added. In terms of reviews, it's sitting at an excellent 4.9 stars. There were 4,100 five-star reviews. Next, let's take a look at a currency converter. This is going to be really important if you're selling globally. You can let the customers convert the currency so they can view product prices in their own currency rather than seeing things in more standards such as USD or Euros. There's over 160 currencies with the push of a button here. There's different themes in terms of how you want it to lay it out if you want it to be more tabbed or a drop down menu here. There's a free for life plan with up to five currencies and three beautiful designs. And it's supposed to work with any theme as well. 
So overall, a super easy to set up app. To note, depending on your Shopify store plan, it's not gonna be an actual checkout in that currency. So if your Shopify store is in USD and there is this currency converter, it's just gonna display what the price is gonna look like to the customer. Then the final checkout is gonna be in the currency of your Shopify store. Now this is gonna depend on your Shopify store plan, but just something to note there. In terms of reviews, it's sitting at a nice 4.7 stars with over 6,900 five-star reviews. Next, let's take a look at a EU cookie bar for GDPR. At this point, GDPR is quite big in terms of its privacy compliance. Clients. And one really easy way to stay up with that is just to use a pop-up here that's going to ask for further acceptance of cookies. So it's a one-click cookie bar and banner. It's a one-click install. It's supposed to work with almost any theme on Shopify. Overall, it's really easy to set up. And it's just going to take a few clicks here. And it's going to allow you to collect that consent, which is extremely important and something you just want to be doing. And it is a completely free app, so there's kind of no downside to adding it there as it is something that you're going to want to do, especially if you're selling to EU and UK customers and just generally as well. So in terms of reviews, sitting at a nice 4.6 stars with over 1,700 five-star reviews. Next, let's take a look at product reviews. You wanna be collecting product reviews for your products on your store, as it's gonna allow for more social proof and customers can see images of customers using the products so they can see a better idea of what it looks like, how it feels, and if the images that are used for marketing promotion actually match what a customer receives. They're also great because if you're using Google Shopping, you can import your reviews to there to make your advertisements more clickable. It's gonna have those gold stars underneath as well. Judge Me is an extremely popular review app. It makes it really easy to collect reviews through automation emails. It makes it easy to display it on your Shopify store in different ways. You can add different photos and video reviews, and you can build trust on social media as well by displaying these reviews. As mentioned, it's gonna allow you to import these reviews to Google Shopping. So you can see here how it's gonna show up, and it's gonna look way nicer with your review featured below your product. They have a free forever plan with unlimited product review requests, photos and videos, different in email reviews, curated reviews, as well as SEO snippets. And to get the Google Shopping, you will have to go to the $15 a month plan though. You also get other features such as Q&A, coupons, and product groups. There's reviews sitting at a perfect five stars here with over 11,000 five-star reviews. Next, let's take a look at Privy. It's gonna allow you to collect emails and phone numbers when visitors visit your website. It's one of the worst things that can happen. <coughs> as if a customer clicks on one of your ads, so you're paying for that click, visit your store, clicks around on a few products and just leave. That sucks because you spent the ad dollars to acquire that customer to your website without generating any revenue off them. So by collecting emails and phone numbers, you get a way to retarget them with their permission, of course, in a low cost of free way. You can send them different reminders about different products, different sales. You can encourage them to come back to their cart as they might have added something to their cart but then gotten busy or decided to wait on their decision. You can offer discount codes, all of which can help bring a customer back to purchase without having to pay for more ads. So Privy is an extremely popular pop-up tool that lets you create different pop-ups to collect customer emails and phone numbers. They have things such as a spin to win pop-up, as well as different exit and 10th offers, different discount offers, also different cross-sell offers as well, if you're looking to do that with Privy. So the way the exit and 10th is gonna work is that you can trigger it. So you can say after 30 seconds, we could say if a customer's mouse goes off the window on a desktop, you're gonna trigger a pop-up to encourage them to add their email so you can at least give them a discount and get them before they leave. Also allows you to send newsletters to that with other different automated emails as well. And over 700,000 stores here, privy here, so it's an extremely popular app. It has a free 15-day trial as well as a free to install plan with up to 100 email contacts. It's sitting at a really good 4.6 stars with over 18,000 five-star reviews. Our last basic Shopify app here, let's take a look at free shipping bar by Hextom. This app is gonna allow you to place a free shipping bar on top of your store to encourage customers to reach that free shipping threshold which is not only going to increase your average order value, but it will allow customers to get that free shipping that almost everyone desires. Huge brands such as Amazon have kind of ruined this concept as everyone expects free shipping now. So it's something you have to offer even if it's creating a threshold in which free shipping is triggered. So you can see here at the top of your store, it's gonna say, for example, free shipping for all orders over $100. And if a customer adds something to their cart, it's gonna update based on the cart size. So let's say the product here was $75. It's gonna say only $25 away from shipping. If they add something else, then it's gonna say, congratulations, you have free shipping as they've reached the threshold. Overall, a conceptually simple but powerful app here to increase the amount of sales you do. It does have a completely free plan as well for a fully customizable banner. You can display it at the desired position, so the top, bottom, different device targeting, page targeting, as well as emoji support. In terms of reviews, it's sitting at an excellent 4.9 stars with over 9,800 five-star reviews. So this concludes the video on basic Shopify apps to get set up with your store. We looked at different categories from reviews to shipping bars, social media channel linking, currency converters, as well as email marketing. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below. That really helps the channel out. If you have any questions, leave a comment as well. Before I go, I just want to mention our sponsored Profit Calc one more time, the one-click profit calculator app available on the Shopify app store. It comes with a 15-day free trial, and there's a link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in our next video.